Hi! Welcome to Mennonite Farmhouse. Today, I'm going to walk you step by step through the process to make strawberries into powder. And I did this for the first time the other day because I came into having a lot of strawberries on hand this year. And the end product is absolutely amazing because local strawberries are so much sweeter than what you get at the grocery store because they're from either Mexico or California and they're pumped through all of chemicals to keep them from rotting so quickly. Because California is on the west coast and I live on the east coast. So, yeah. So, I find I've already used this in icing for my sweet rolls that I made for my friends for the day. And I'm like, wow, I should have added that to my video on the sweet rolls. So, you can put it in your yogurt, you can put it in pancakes, you can put it in, well, in waffles, and your sweet bread, and you can put it on your rim of your glasses if you're entertaining for like, you know, strawberry lemonade or any other kind of beverage. So the possibilities are endless as long as you have the right tools. And to make this the easiest, and I do know there are other ways, trust me, but this takes the work out of it, I think. I have a Vitamix and I'm going to be using the 32 wet and the 32 dry and obviously you might need the stomper an offset spatula and your Excalibur dehydrator or if you have jelly roll um, inserts for your um, Nesco or any other dehydrator that's important to have and you also need a canning funnel and a food grade brush and of course your strawberries all right you obviously want to make sure the berries are washed and capped and they don't necessarily have to be um halved or cut or anything like that when you throw them in the vitamix Fill her up, make sure it's turned on, and hit start. We're going to be making a liquid purple gray. So then we'll just put this in the dehydrator. And my dehydrator will hold nine trays. on setting one. All right. You want 
do this at 125 for 10 to 12 hours or until thoroughly dry because it might also depend on your humidity so that yesterday was like 23 percent humidity which would have been great for drying well good morning welcome back well it is definitely dry I think I had to have it in overnight because humidity went up to almost 100%. But the other day it took maybe 10 hours tops. So, all you have to do is just get it in the jar. See how I mentioned how if you have it thicker the better, it comes off just like that. And some juice did get on the underside here, but that soapy water can take that off. I find it easy to take my little scraper here and just peel this off. When it's been taken out of the Vitamix, it will start to clump up because of the heat from the blades going around so fast will cause the powder to clump. And for that reason, we have to dry it again. You want to box your corners up. And what you do is 
bring them together about two inches in and just tuck to the one side and slip on your paper clip.